Welcome to the Oxden Kitchen. You're cooking with Carl Gibson. Hello. Uh, this is going to be the ultimate uh, Friday night cheat meal. Fun for all the family, friends and relatives. This is what I do every Friday night. It's not really considered a cheat meal, so to speak. Um, the only part of it that would be considered a cheat meal would be the sauce and the baps. So, what is the cheat meal? Well, the cheat meal is burgers and potatoes. The biscuits and gravy to any meal. I love saying that word, biscuits and gravy. I said the core exercises like your squats and your bends. I mean, they're the, you're, the, the they are the, your biscuits and gravy to training. This here, mints and potatoes, just like rice and chicken, they are the biscuits and gravy to a successful champion. All right, so what we got here, we got 5% lean mints. We've got 457 grams, mm, precisely, of sweat potato. Now, obviously you can go white potato. I don't discriminate a quality for potatoes, as I said before. Sweet or white, there's not much difference. Sweet has a wee bit more fiber, white. So what we're gonna make is burgers and potatoes. That's gonna be our fundamental cheat meal. Now, that sounds really fucking boring from the outset. Burgers and potatoes, oh wow, potatoes. But, um, you'll see when we make it up, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lovely meal. Oh, it's a lovely meal. And of course, single of rum. Because listen, a man's gotta enjoy himself. A man has got to enjoy himself on a Friday night. Or a woman. Or non-binary. All right, so potatoes. So, first things first, we wash them. They're washed. Next thing is to cut them. Now, Carl, what way do I cut them? Because you may, be, you may want the blueprint recipe to this. Listen, I don't care. I cut them into cubes. You could cut them into squares, triangles, pyramids, hexagons, pentagons, um, even we potato men. It's up to you. Whatever way it, you look at your plate at the end of the night and go, I'll put a smile on my face. So, cut them. They're chopped. I'm that fast. But not in the bedroom. In the bedroom, I'm faster. So, there's all the potatoes. Oh, they look lovely. All the cubes. All the cubes. Now, how do we cook these? Well, listen, I'm not your dad. You know what I mean? I'm not going to teach you how to cook. But I will advise you. There's many ways you can do these, obviously. What we do them is, we're snobs, we do them in the air fryer. Oh yes, we're better than all of you. So the air fryer is great because it actually cooks in air. I didn't even know air could cook. So we chuck these in the air fryer. Now, we do add a wee bit of oil to these, right? We're not gonna make them completely. No, we need to get them a wee bit wet because wet gets them excited. So we're gonna wet them up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use olive oil. Now, um, obviously we want to try to get our natural fats in here, so um, a tablespoon of olive oil. Just a tablespoon. You know, you're not pissing olive oil over the potatoes. Just a tablespoon. Tablespoon. Shriggle it, shriggle it. Shriggle it. And then I like to top it off with a little bit of spray. Spray, spray, spray. Spray, spray, spray. Spray, spray, spray. Now, what I like to do, me, yes, me, listen to me, listen to all my tips, is I like to put a bit of garlic on it. A little bit of garlic, just a little bit. I like to put just enough garlic on it till the point where people say, Carl, when you sweat, you smell of garlic. Mmm. My camera lady can vouch for this. Um, do I smell of garlic? I mean, that's kind of hurtful the first time you actually hear that, you know, when someone says, um, Carl, you smell of garlic. It's kind of a wake-up call to say, stop putting garlic on everything. Garlic and eggs, garlic and oats, garlic and cereal. Okay, so the air fryer, that's gonna go on for um, 15 minutes at 200 degrees. Um, that's something that seems to work for me. You may be able to Google it and find a more precise temperature, but that gets it nice and soft. Not too crispy. If you like it more crispy, you know, uh, figure it out. All right, now, now, the, now the biscuits and gravy. This is the biscuit. This is the biscuit of the meal, the mince. Okay, so we're going for 5% lean mince. It's lean. It's really good value per 125 grams. It's 155 calories, but 26 grams of protein and only 5.6% fats. 
delicious. So I'm gonna do us two burgers each. My partner two burgers and me two burgers, okay? So I'm gonna weigh out roughly around 200 grams each. That would give us 400 grams. Now that's quite, it is quite high for red meat. If you're not tolling for red meat, you could go 150 grams each, 100 grams each. It's really up to you. I'm going 200 grams because I'm a monster. Now, I like to be precise, and I do like to weigh them. Now, obviously, that, that is very precise, weighing them. You may not have a weighing bit. But what I like to do is, if guys would know this quite well, is if you're ever sort of checking down there for lumps and stuff, um, is you can, you know, yeah, and then you'll be able to get the weight. So that there, it's around about 150 grams. 130 grams. <laughs> well, that's right. See what I'm saying is my balls weigh 130 grams. So what we're gonna do is, that's one for 200 grams. Um, we are going to bait this as possible. I like to do some tricks here. I like to <coughs> mix it to each hand, squeeze it in. Thump it, sometimes thumping it's good. It shows it who's boss, the meat gets a wee bit more softer, is afraid of you, and will start sticking together more. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, we're getting technical. Okay, so here we have it, um, four burgers, the same size as four small children's heads. All right, um, so what we're gonna do is, I know it's lean mince, but we're gonna add a spoonful of olive oil to them. Again, just for them uh, good natural fats we're trying to get. Um, you may say it defeats the purpose, but go fuck yourself. A spoonful is kind of enough, so, you know, one there, one there, one there, and one there. And then what I want you to do, what I want you to do, is just gently massage it. That's it, gently get it wet. Yeah, get it wet. Now, I, I do like the seasoning. This is personal preference here. I put a bit of garlic, a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, and that's it. Um, but it's up to you. You can season it with whatever you want. Sprinkles. Rice Krispies, it is up to you. Obviously we flip them over, season again. Um, I top it up with a wee bit of spray. I don't want to use another tablespoon. Just because of conscious, you're already using two tablespoons of oil. Uh, I'm not going to add too much calorie, especially split between you. But again, we're being conscious of that oil. We're trying to make this, this cheat meal as lean as possible, but also feel like a cheat meal at the same time. Um, and it's them small changes that really will change the way you look at food and eat. You know, if you sort of start to sort of take care of your cheat meals more. I mean, a lot of people's gonna look at this right now and think, well, this is burgers. I mean, hi, this is a big cheat meal. I mean, it's burgers. But it's the difference is it's homemade burgers. I mean, this is this is like a staple, um, really good healthy bodybuilder meal from the get-go. It's got lean mints and potatoes. I mean, they're fundamentals. That's something you would do on, you know, an on week when you're not cheating. Again, the only bit of cheating this would be the baps and the sauce on this. That's it. Um, if you went to a restaurant and got a burger, it's different. You don't know what you're putting, you, they're putting in them. Tons of grease, tons of oil, um, and it's low quality meat. You're not getting much protein back from it. This here, we know exactly what the fuck we're getting. We're making it from scratch, from our own burr, gritty, dirty, hard working hands. All right, season's all done. Um, put them on a preheated oven. What I'd like to do it on is uh, just over around about 190 degrees, close to 200 for 21 minutes. The sweet spot. It's something that I figured I just, it's just worked for me. It doesn't burn them, it cooks into a good degree. Um, but again, I'm no Gordon Ramsay. You know, I'm just sort of giving you a good idea for a good sheet meal. You figure it out. Okay, let's four them in. Okay. Ooh, we put these in for 21 minutes, again, at the 180. And then the potatoes, because they're going for 15 minutes, obviously you're going to start them 15 minutes in, wash up, and then... Wait. I wonder if I had six chicken breasts in a row, would I sort the shit out eggs? Ooh, I want to get bigger, bigger every day by eating some meat. Oh, that's new. That is new. I never noticed that before. Grow the legs, grow the legs, grow the legs. Ooh. 14 minutes left. Grow the legs, grow the legs, grow the legs. Ooh. Oh, it damn smoky. Oh, it damn smoky in here. Oh, it damn smoky. Oh, oh. Oh. 
it's hot meat. It's hot. Now, before we end this, a quick word on um, the BAP situation. Um, you don't want to fuck yourself too much with this because we are trying to make this a good cheat meal. We're, also, we're trying to also make this kind of not a cheat meal, almost a good meal. As I said, the only bit of this which would be cheating would essentially be the BAPs. So you're looking to go for the lowest possible. There's a lot of BAPs out there that only maybe have 120 calories or 150 calories per BAP. If you go for fancy shit like these Briages, the bigger ones, you're talking about 250 calories. My best recommendation is to go for the smaller ones. These are only 150 calories. There's other BAPs you can get for 120 calories. You're looking to try to, to take the less hit as possible in calories with the BAPs, okay? So the option is by get two BAPs, say 120 calorie ones, or if you're really, really posh and a snob, you can go for the big Briages, 250 calories, but stack two meats up on it. Now, obviously you can do the two big ones, but at that point you're adding on 600 calories, maybe extra. At that point, it's you, you, you're kind of fucking yourself over. Sure, you're getting the good fats and the good proteins and the good carbs from other sources like the potatoes and meats, but it's kind of redundant when you add on two big, fancy, snobby, horse riding baps. Uh, same goes for the sauces. Like I said in another video, cheap sauces are brilliant. This sauce here, 15 grams, which is quite a lot, is only 11 calories. If I, t this is only like a 90p sauce, right? If I tally that up with a real fancy sauce, you may be talking 80 calories for the same amount. That's a big difference. So I would recommend the cheaper sauces, obviously. And you know what? When you're eating the whole thing all together, it's not gonna make much of a difference. Um, my partner takes cheese, I don't. For any of you who's taking cheese, again, be very careful. A lot of calories in cheese. You don't wanna ruin this. You don't wanna get all this fundamentals down, right? And then you go fuck yourself again with cheese. Um, onions, lettuce, tomatoes, there's no issue there, obviously. So, make it as interesting as possible. And then obviously, if you wanna make it a happy meal, find a toy somewhere. So that's it all done, guys. That's, uh, that's what it looks like. It looks nice enough, I think. I like to, you know, I think it looks good. Okay, so quick macros on this. I've worked it out. Now, this is roughly, calorie-wise, you're talking around 1,000 calories. Say 1,070 calories. Proteins now, 124 grams of protein, just in this one. Carbs, about 80 grams of carbs, and then fats, around 40 grams. Now, they're brilliant macros. Now, yes, 1,000 calories, you might say, is a bit high, but it is a cheat meal. I mean, on a day like this for Friday night, you may be cutting the odd meal out beforehand, you know. If you're gonna have a big cheat meal, maybe cut the odd meal out that you're used to having beforehand and have it all consumed in one. Um, again, you're gonna more or less cap your proteins for that day, uh, get close to your carbs and your fats, all in one meal. So it is a brilliant on-the-go meal, especially weekends can be a wee bit busier. Um, obviously, grading down for lower grade baps and such, um, or if you just remove, instead of having spoon foods oil sprays, you'll lower the calories even more. But that's roughly it, um, guys, for this. So that's our cheat meal. Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, even a Monday night you can have these. Um, great for all the family, and you don't need to um, make your kids and wife suffer watching you eat dry chicken all the time. You can treat them to something special like this and still meet your macros. For more advice, you can go on to www.orxen.com. You can follow me on call under slash Gibson under slash training on Instagram. Um, and don't forget to hit the wee like and subscribe and the bell. And um, for, 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 you know, search you for more videos. Um, but we'll catch you next time. Thanks.